All right, ready. Today I'm going to explain how to change programs on a touchscreen. To do this, you will need the build file for the new program on a thumb drive like this. You will also need a USB mouse. So, turn the, uh, the touchscreen on, the existing program will appear. Plug in the mouse, plug in the thumb drive. Okay, once this is done, once this is done, we can click on the main program, grab its its uh, bar up on top, and pull it out of our way. Once we once we have it out of the way, we right click on the panel bar at the bottom to open the task manager. I'll show that one again. And once again, we right click on the control bar down at the bottom to open the task manager once the task manager is open we end the EMP controls task and then we close the task manager now we can now open the folder to view the files these are the files that are on our thumb drive uh, Normally we should have a build file on here, and here it's it, it happens to be. Let's see, so we have a build file, and we we remove the old build file. And put on the new build file, and now we no longer need the thumb drive. The next thing we must do is we must remove the old program from the uh, from the unit. To do that, we go to the control panel. We go to add and remove programs. We find the old program, which was in this case was PC005. We do a change and remove. asks us do we want to remove it yes we do and we close out the add and remove programs okay now the next thing we've got to do is we've got to install the new the new program to do this we just hit the setup we don't need the, that folder anymore the publisher is unknown, we are not registered with Microsoft, so we just have it installed anyway. And the program will come up. Okay, in this case... Okay, so there's there's the new program is now installed. However, we don't really, uh, we don't really need it just yet. So we're going to... Once again, go to the task manager. And once again, we're going to end that task and we're going to close it out. We're good. Okay, the next thing we have to do is we have to make sure that the program starts every time the unit starts. To do this, we go to Start, we go to All Programs, go to PC05. We point at it, but instead of clicking it, we right click it and create a shortcut to it. We then take that shortcut and drag it onto the desktop. Good. Now, the next thing we do is we go to the folder Support and Setup. Startup CPL. And we run the Startup program. Startup program is the old version of PC005 in it. So we simply right click that and delete it and then we take the new version and and drop it in drop it in notice we do this in the hklm slash run folder this is where we want that to run now when we turn the system off and on again which i will do we turn it off 
and then we turn it on again Windows will come up and when it does it should run the new version of the program Thank you and good night